Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Friday. Come on, come on, come on. Look, I had to get a Friday song today, y'all. Let me see what this song's saying. Let me see. <laughs> I ain't going to let nothing take my happy away. What? what? Nothing. Nothing. And Man, I got a feeling it's going to be okay. What's going on, y'all? It's Friday. We made it, y'all. We made it. Another work week, another week. We are still in the land of the living, and we are grateful, for real, for real. How y'all doing? Thank y'all so much for tuning into the conversation. The conversation is Eagle Vision's very first online talk show. We are so excited. We're bringing you kingdom and clean entertainment down your social media uh, timeline. Each and every guest will be different. Each show will be different. And look, if you want to be a guest on my show, please just ask me and we'll set that up. I'm your host, Mr. Eagle Vision, better yet known as JR, the founder of Eagle Vision Productions. Look, we want your comments. We want your interactions. So please, please, please comment, share all that good stuff. And if you want to support, send your um, donations and all that good old stuff to Eagle Vision Pro, the dollar sign Eagle Vision Pro, and we will gladly accept those. Yes, we sure will. Yes, we sure will. If you want to um, Visit our website and learn more about us. You can visit us at www.eagle-bp.com. I'm also on YouTube, y'all. So JR Reynolds Music. Look, I'm trying to do everything, okay? I'm, I'm everywhere. I'm everywhere. So, but today, y'all, today I have two special guests for real, for real. This week has just been a week of family. Earlier this week, I had my cousin Rejoice. Yesterday, I had my cousin Tanisha. And today, I have my two cousins, Miss Trina Jackson and Miss Kaylani Jackson. So excited. We're about to just go ahead and bring them in. We're going to get to know them a little bit. What's Yay. up? Hi. Hi. Hello, everyone. Thank y'all so much. You're fantastic. Yes, exactly. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. How are y'all? We're doing great. Doing good. Doing real good. Chilling, enjoying this quarantine, being at home, enjoying family, and learning more about ourselves. So... Oh my goodness, that is so true. So before we get in, um, introduce yourself. Don't tell about y'all, but just tell which one each of you are, since it's two of y'all. So okay. I'll, I'll do it. Okay, you got it. <laughs> Trina yeah. was looking like. Hi, hi everyone. <laughs> my name is Kalani Jackson, and I'm Trina Jackson, and I am a 30 year educator uh, in okay. cosmetology and also a business owner. Uh, well, Let me take you on my show. Give me, I said, just say who you are. Look. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> We're gonna get there. We're gonna get there. That was a teacher in me. I'm gonna step. I know, out right? <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. So yeah, that's Trina, the mom, and she has on the teal. That's teal, right? Yeah. Okay, and um, Kenny has on the pink. Oh, I just want to. I just want to yeah. say y'all names, and I'll get, we're gonna get into all that good stuff. So before we do that, I do something called the Eagle Vision Picture Game. Is what I what I did is go down your timeline, and I took a few pictures from um, both of y'all's timeline. I just want y'all to tell me what those pictures mean to y'all. Can we do that? Oh uh, goodness! Uh, <laughs> and just because Kalani looking like that, we're gonna start with you. Okay? <laughs> oh God! Look, I want to say. <laughs> Oh, okay. So this picture was awesome because this was at my oldest brother's wedding and I was a bridesmaid. That was my first bridesmaid gig. So that means a lot to me. It was in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. So. Oh, wow. Okay. 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 I got one more for you. Got one more for you. Ah, uh, y'all. Okay. This was a good one, JR. So that is my me, my mom, and my grandmother, Shirley, and we were messing in our hats. And a lot of people don't know, but my grandma is just this fabulous lady. And I feel like our Johnson family lineage has just fabulous women who are dressed to the nines, love the Lord. So that picture is just, I don't know, it's awesome. I feel like that might have been Mother's Day. Mm -hmm. no. That was Uncle C's funeral, I think. Oh, oh okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Wow, y'all got to show that again. Yes, I'm sure. Oh, oh, oh. Be the <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. We're gonna go to you, and then the last one. Um, I want both y'all to answer. Okay. Okay. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, this is a great day. This is my baby boy, Dallas Jackson. Uh, he was graduating from UNCG and. Fashion and uh, international business. Oh, 
snap. Okay, cool, cool. So that's that one. Awesome. That's what's, what's up, us. All right. Oh, snap. This one is kind of, <laughs> that was a good one because it was a family uh, kind of little gathering. I, I purchased a new home in 2019, and a couple of my uh, guy cousins and my son came to visit. And so we're real excited because we want to share that with the family. We want, mm -hmm. we want a place where our family can come and love on each other. Mm -hmm. So we, when we get through this quarantine, we're going to have a big um, shindig out here somewhere in this backyard. Y'all yeah. <laughs> already know I'm there. I'm there. I'm definitely there. <laughs> this is the last one. Last one. Oh, <laughs> go <roll> back. No. <laughs> so, um, some people know, some people don't know, but I was crowned the first African American Miss Asheville under the Miss America pageant system. So that was really cool because I was able to make history in my hometown and open up the doors to women of color. So wow, that's what's up. But that was see, that was the picture game. That wasn't too hard. Yeah. That was good. Was good. You you was like I made history too because <laughs> I gave birth to her. <laughs> Come on, exactly, 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 <laughs> exactly. Now, Trina, can you just tell us a little bit about who you are, not the business side? Just tell us who you are, like a little bit about you, who you okay. are. Uh, I am Trina Grad Jackson. I'm the mother of three, uh, Justin Kalani in Dallas, and um, I am a two-time uh, cancer survivor, breast cancer survivor. Uh, I do a lot of work in the community with regard to uh, triple negative breast cancer, which a lot of African-American women um, go through. So I like to give a lot of information out there in the public. I've taught school for um, uh, 30 years, just about ready to ro roll up out of there. Uh, I, you know, I've, I've done a lot of things, but, uh, really it's just a, 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 my, my life's journey is just to be out there and do things for my community. Wow. Community awareness. Wow. 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 Before we move on to Kaylani, can you just tell me a little bit about your testimony versus cancer survivor? My test, well, so uh, in 2013, I found a lump. Uh, I was uh, taking a shower and I felt a hard kind of lump in my breast. So immediately I went to the doctor um, with that particular lump. They weren't real sure what it was. They thought it was cystic. They tried it, um, they tested it. And unfortunately it uh, was a triple negative breast cancer. That affects African American women, women of color, women, uh, young women. So um, I had to go through chemotherapy. Uh, I also went through radiation. Um, just a lot of stuff. But uh, with that journey, I was able to really uh, find my space with God and create my relationship that I had with Him, and uh, figure out how I needed to continue on with my life and just being very thankful that I have my life. And then unfortunately, uh, 2016, it showed back up and um, I had to have uh, breast reconstruction. Um, so that was the removal of the breast. And, um, and you know, all of those things are tough and I've lost a lot of things, but I'm like Job, uh, all those things that were lost, uh, the good Lord came back and he magnified that. Yeah. Yes, and that's all I wanted. I know we went through some dark things, but I just wanted to see that testimony because we still yeah. here. Yes, still yes, here. yes. <laughs> Come on, that is what's up. That's what's up. Kaylani, tell me about you. Tell me about you. <laughs> so you want to know about me? Okay. <laughs> no, Um. okay, about me. Pretty much, uh, I feel like I am a healer. I enjoy the work that I do because I'm able to, to talk to women, have women open up about things that are going on, um, put them in the right direction of like finding counselors, finding church homes to go to, finding mentors to help get them the healing that they need. Um, I think it's really important to me for people to follow their truth and follow the things that are good for them so they can be in a good place and prosper. So that's kind of like my thing. Um, yeah, just make people feel good, make people feel beautiful, happy, and kind of get themselves on track. So that's come on, come on. 
And before we move on, I just want to tell everybody, hey, hey, Angelica. Hey, 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 hey Charles hey, Adam. And Mr. Justin hey, Jackson. Hey, <laughs> Thank y'all so much for tuning in. So, Kaylani, how did you say, how did you know you wanted to run for Miss Asheville? Um, I think the deciding, it was two factors. It's uh, one young lady in Asheville, North Carolina. Her name is Grace Wallace. Grace Wallace is beautiful. She is well-spoken and she's one of the best tap dancers that I have ever seen. So Grace competed and she didn't get it. And I was really kind of upset because in my opinion, she would be the overall like Miss Asheville. So um, it just made me really want to push to open up that door to get other young ladies in there going. Because the thing is, is that the Miss America pageant system is wonderful because it offers scholarship money. It's free money. Most girls grow up singing, dancing. You can have any talent at Miss America as long as it makes sense. And it's just something for young ladies to do get scholarship money, feel beautiful. And another big factor in the Miss America system is um, service work. So that's like super duper important. So it's good because you have a heart of service. And um, throughout my whole year, I was all over Western North Carolina giving back to the community. So it's important because it looks good on your college uh, transcripts, all that stuff. So I'd be like, that's my cousin, y'all. That's my cousin. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. So, Aunt Tammy, we see you. Thank you so much for tuning in. So, let's yeah. talk about Asheville Pro Lash. How do we get into that? What is all, what is that all about? Well, I guess I'll start. Um, yeah. During the time that I was sick with uh, breast cancer and I was at home, um, I'm a busybody. And so, I'm always uh, <laughs> conjuring up something that I'm going to do. I got a plan. So, I'm <laughs> The whole time that I was in the bed, I uh, just was journaling and writing and figuring out what I wanted to do next. And I knew that I would be getting ready to retire at some point. So I uh, at first I really uh, directed my thoughts towards opening up a salon because that would be the natural progression of what I do as a cosmetology teacher. So um, but the Lord didn't have it that way. Uh, I kept going and looking for spaces. I mean, I literally, I had a book, I call mm -hmm. it my think book and I had everything written out to the, to the, to the T. And so, um, when I went, um, it just sort of, sort of went working out. I was like, this is crazy. Mm -hmm. So, uh, then some, I don't know, I think my girlfriend from Chicago, I had gone to visit her. And at that time, people weren't really doing the eyelashes, especially in a small community like we are in. So uh, the first woman that I saw do it was an African-American woman, and she was just making bank out of a small uh, room. Yeah. yeah, she was just killing it. So she was nice enough to allow me to come in and watch her. I still didn't get the cue. You know, I still didn't. It just didn't sink. So then uh, I went back to Chicago and my girlfriend took me to another space, which was um, a Russian woman. And she was in there in a small space and she was just making money over money over money. Mm -hmm. So I came home and I said I found an actual uh, a place to go take the uh, course in Atlanta. I went to Atlanta. I took the course, came back home and I was like, uh I'm going to, I'm, we're going to do, cause if anybody knows me, if I say I'm going to do something, she going to do it. You better get Let's your, get on, cause you're ready to do it. And I'm like, <laughs> um, mom, I don't know. So like I came in, I did Kalani's eyelashes. I glued her eyes together. I, you know, it just was a disaster, <laughs> but I kept on and I opened and I just, uh, me being a businesswoman I am, I went on and I told everybody, Hey, we're in business. Mm -hmm. And we started out of our home. And so people and we live far out and people were coming from everywhere. And I was like, this is crazy. And it was so bad that like we were like, we have to get a space and make this a storefront because our dog would sit in the room because we had so much traffic like coming oh, in. So we were like, we have to move out. Like it's not even fair to the dog. You so know, the, the, the dog, the dog, Gracie. The dog, so right, ended, right. Ended up in, uh, we got a, a small space and I, and just quite frankly, I will tell you my story is that because I was ill, a lot of things had, and I had been ill twice. 
And I'm telling people this just because I want them to have, um, to know that they, whatever it is that they go through that they can overcome. And I'm being very transparent. I, things were out of order as far as like, you know, my credit, my mm. bills, you know, like I, I, it was bad. And I was like, Lord, I don't know how, but we can ready to do this. Mm. And I, I went to this little place and found a storefront right on the road on Hendersonville Road, very busy. And uh, I went in and the lady, she didn't ask me for credit. She didn't ask me for anything. Oh, so I knew God. it was God. And I and so she thought I was going to take the smaller space and me being me. In fact, my, my son, Justin, I called him several times and Justin was like, mom, either you're going to do this or you're not. Stop so quit calling me. me. <laughs> Yeah. Basically. <laughs> right. So I went on, I signed a lease. I was like, well, we're going to do this. So we went in and I'm telling you that has changed the course of our life. And mm -hmm. uh, we ended up and we got so busy that we um, expanded, expanded. Again. And then when we expanded, we expanded into a full salon. Mm -hmm. Oh, a full hair salon and all that stuff? That's yeah. Uh -huh. So what? I am going back um, to esthetician school. So we have a skincare area that's like skincare waxing, um, eyebrows, full body waxing. What else we do? Everything. And we do and oh, like our salon God. does everything. So if you need beauty services in Asheville, North Carolina, Asheville Pearl Lash, it's a place to be. But it's awesome because God really came in and intervened. And um, we've got like a great staff there. Um, one of our stylists, Jessica, she's amazing. She has a beautiful clientele. She does great, great, great she's work. She's a bad girl. Yeah. Jessica. Wow. That's crazy. Look, uh, Trina, your cousin in the comments saying she, you get it from her. I did. Hey. <laughs> I'm talking about her. I'm Tammy, Tammy inspired me because from the time we were in high school, I had no idea that I was going to do hair. So she probably she probably laughed when she found out that that's what I was doing, because I literally in high school, I would go with her every time she was going on these trips to compete because she competed. Oh, wow. She was the baddest girl around. She literally, I went to uh, St. Augustine's College in Raleigh, and she was in Raleigh, and she did my hair and my girlfriend's, my roommate's hair all through college. So it's funny because she sort of came out of it, and then I went into it. Okay, okay, okay. Wow, that's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, I wish she was still into it, but it's all good. It's yeah, all it's good. all good. She might be <laughs> yeah. Right, right. She always talking that. We're going to see. We're going to see. We're going to see. Yeah, back up in there. Right, exactly. But Trina, just think, what if you wouldn't have listened to God when he told you when not to open a hair salon first? You know what I'm saying? And like, what if you, because he told you to open up this Asheville Pro Lash. You see what I'm right. saying? What if you didn't do that? Man. Well, one thing about it is, it would have. Oh, the thing about me at this point in time in my life, I listen to God real closely before I do anything. I'm, um, Kalani comes off very uh, friendly and jovial and I'm pretty jovial as well but in the same token i um but in the same token i uh i'm a, a thinker and i think through things over and over and over and over until i got it right i pray about things i may be up in the middle of the night praying about what it is i don't do any i order order my steps lord and that's and i go with the flow of whatever god has me to do and if he ain't speaking to me then I'm not doing it. But even if he didn't say it, then you still would have found your way like in it at some point because it's God's will. You know yeah. what I mean? Oh, exactly. Because a lot of people ignore it, ignore it, ignore it. But if God has a calling on your life to do something, like at some point, everything will be stripped so you can just do what it is that he needs you to do. And that's really what yeah. happened to me. I was yeah. stripped down, like, you there. know, just trying to figure out who I am as an individual mm -hmm. because I had been. Justin and Kalani and Dallas's okay. mother yep. Yep. all yep. those years. Yep. And of course I was married. So I was uh, his wife for all those years. So now I had to sort of revamp uh, myself and Ooh. become Trina Greg Jackson. It's who I am. Come on. I love it. I love yeah. it. I love it. So cool. I thank y'all so much for getting on with y'all for real. I really, 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 this has been awesome. Before we leave again, tell me what service you all services you all offer. And then also can you like y'all do skincare? Can y'all tell me, I guess something that they can do while they're at home quarantine for the people that can't get out to y'all. 
Is there anything they oh, can do at home? Yeah, so some tips. Number one, drinking water. You want to keep your skin hydrated. Uh, changing out your pillowcases if you have like acne issues. Trying to cut back on the dairy. Dairy and cheese, it really causes a lot of allergic reactions because our body can't break it down. Um, some simple things you can do. You can go to Walmart and get a cheap little face mask just to hydrate. Natural oils, jojoba oil is non-comedogenic. So that means it will not clog your pores. As far as lashes, we've been telling some of our clients just to do the magnetic strips. Magnetic? I don't Ooh. tell my clients to do the magnetic strips. I mean, strips. the thing <laughs> is, though, it's so hard. It's Listen, so hard. I'm going to tell you lashes. what's going on right now. What they need to do is don't do a dog on the thing. <laughs> Let go. lashes rest. And when they come out, they can be boom, pow, pow. That's yeah. what they need to do. <laughs> when y'all do not, like a lot of people have been like calling, going mm -hmm. everywhere. It's just best just to wait it out. You don't want to get sick. It's COVID. This is a pandemic. Like you want to stay healthy. So just stay home. And with regard to hair, uh, make sure that you're conditioning your hair mm -hmm. at this time. Uh, what you can do is use a simple thing as uh, as uh, uh, olive oil from the kitchen. Take mm -hmm. it, heat it up a bit, uh, put it in your hair, let it saturate your hair. Put a plastic trash bag that all of us like to keep. You keep those Walmart, Walmart bags. Right. You take that and try it on your head. And while you're cleaning up your house, you're doing a nice hot oil treatment. If you want to condition further, you can put some conditioner with the uh, olive oil in. That uh, and mix up. I call it a cot hair cocktail, and put that on the head, and uh, you're getting good conditioning. And then wash that out, and and you're good to go. Right now, this is just a time for uh, refreshing, refurbishing, and getting ready for all the newness is about to come to us in a couple of months, and and we'll be ready and rock and rolling at that time. Ooh, yes, yes, yes. And that's our closer. Can you just close us out with some encouragement, Mother Trina, please? Just oh. encourage the people. <laughs> I, I just encourage you. I just encourage oh, everyone yeah. to listen to listen to yourself. Listen to who you are. Don't uh worry about anybody else. Go forth and be great in, in your who you are and who what God wants you to do. Uh listen to the fine-tuning of God's words to you and just go forth in Jesus name and just be happy. This is yeah. a time to cleanse yourself and detox and be happy. Ooh, yes, yes, yes. I thank y'all so much. Have a good evening, y'all. Thank y'all so you much. Thank you so us. much. This was you awesome. You already know. I love y'all. I love y'all. And I'm going to be at that reunion. It's not a reunion, but I'm going to be at the house. I'm gonna be yeah. at the house. We're just going to come yeah. here. We're just going to have us a good old time. Because there's plenty of space. Plenty. I'm there. And you know, I'll never forget that when y'all took me out to, was it Texas Bro House? I don't even know what it was. Right there. And I was about to pay. Y'all was like, no, I don't pay for nothing. I'm like, oh. That sad. was a good old Astro Pro Yeah, Astro Pro Pro That's what's up. Well, I'll be back. I'll be back. Okay, <laughs> right. Right. Yeah, yeah. Thank y'all so much. Y'all. All right. <laughs> Bye. Y'all, that was my cousins of Asheville, North Carolina, Asheville Pro Lash. If y'all are in the area, please go visit them. I have family on my mom's side and my dad's side. And on my dad's side, I know y'all know who um, Trina and who Kaylani are, but y'all don't know that that's my cousin. So y'all, please go over there, check them out, get your lashes done, get your hair done, get your skin done, all that good stuff. Till next time, I'm JR and I am out. Love y'all.